Well, I thought that last video was going to be my last one for the day, but I had to show you this plant right here. I don't know what it's called uh, formally. Um, we call this a goat weed around here. This makes a little nut right inside here in these florets that actually, believe it or not, this, this thing is really nasty. Smells bad and you wouldn't want to eat the leaves. But those nuts that grow in there actually are pretty tasty. Kind of like uh, pine nuts. And I don't see any around here. There's some little purple flowers down there my daughter will like. We have a plant around here we call a bitter weed. And it is bitter. If you taste any part of the plant, it's very bitter. That's because it has a large portion of quinine just naturally occurring in the plant. Uh, my dad told me a story years ago before he died that uh, the the uh, bitter weed, it's a ugly little plant, makes an ugly little yellow flower. But uh said that back in the 30s, his, his mother got very sick with uh, malaria. And uh, a lady took the uh, bitter weed, cooked it down into a syrup, you know, boiled it, cooked it down into a syrup, and it made her bathe in the stuff and cured her of malaria. So that's an interesting story. And I think I'm going to show you this plant right here. Now I'm going to pull off one of these li these little limbs here, if I can, or pull it out where you can see it. I don't know if you can see that there's green berries on that. That's a huckleberry tree. Those berries will grow up and they'll turn a deep purple color, and they're very tasty, in case you've never tried one. But uh, that's a huckleberry. And hopefully, I think this is going to be my last video because I'm almost home now. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed what I've done today. And if not, well, I'm going to put it up on YouTube anyway. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching.